Hey, 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 family. It's your girl Evelyn here, and I'm back with another video. We're doing good so far. I'm so excited about it. And I want to talk to you as like a precursor to my self-care series. And I want to talk about something that a lot of people I don't think talk about in the whole self-care genre. What kind of face was that? Um, <laughs> I'm going to get my life together. Okay focus to the point so I want to talk about something that I don't think a lot of people talk about in the self-care space which is the difference between rest and sleep and vacations and retreats because I think a lot of people are like oh you know a form of self-care for me is to go on vacation and yet they go on vacation they run rampant and then when they come home they like whoo child i need a vacation for my vacation you've done it i've done it but there's nothing wrong with it okay vacation you're vacating one area you're going to another area you're vacating your day-to-day -day responsibilities you're going to another area when you retreat i mean the word almost sounds like to come in i feel like that's very different than a vacation a lot of times when people say i need a vacation what they're really saying is I need a retreat. And a lot of times when people say I want to go on vacation, I mean, what they really should say is I want to go on vacation and I need a retreat. It's kind of like when some people say I need some sleep and what they really mean is they need some rest because you can rest and not sleep and you can sleep and not rest. Catch, catch, catch the message. Catch, catch it. Okay. You can sleep and not rest and you can rest and not sleep and so one of the things that I want to talk about as we get into talking about self-care and strategic self-care intentional self-care is the difference between a vacation and a retreat and between sleeping and relaxing and so you know one of the things I think that people really need is like a personal editorial calendar so if you're in business a lot of you are or you have a business then you understand the power of an editorial calendar but people don't have that for their personal lives they you know they may take one or two trips a year maybe three or four but when is the built-in rest and when is the built-in retreat so let me tell you about the significance of a retreat so in 2015 I had the right idea I wanted to take myself on a little personal retreat I just wanted to go somewhere beautiful I wanted to go somewhere serene and quiet and I wanted to go alone so I took myself to Scottsdale Arizona to a resort for five days alone and it was amazing and if I have any of the footage because I did I, vl I vlogged it some of it and I don't know if I kept the footage if I did I'll insert some of the foot footage throughout this video but it was just me and a spa and a resort and the desert and the mountains and this little bunny that I named Peter Rabbit. Okay. And what was interesting about the rabbit is, and there were several rabbits or bunnies, whatever, on, on the resort property, right? Like not overwhelming like an infestation, but just enough to make it cute. And what I noticed is that the bunny, I called him Peter, Peter would bounce around all day for a little bit. And then he would just stretch out in the middle of the day and take a nap. Just right outside of my room, just in the shade, stretch out and take a nap. Hour passed by, he's up and he's bouncing again. And then he'd stretch out again, out. And I remember being on that vacation slash retreat and struggling to take a nap in the middle of the day and I was like who told me exhaustion was a status symbol you know one of the things one of the mindsets that I had to create for myself is that I don't have to be exhausted to be effective in any area of life I don't need to be exhausted to be effective as a content creator I don't have to be exhausted to be effective as a chef, I don't have to be exhausted to be effective as a friend or a family member or to have great holidays or to run a successful business or to, you know, be healthy. I don't have to be exhausted to be effective. Are there times where I'm going to need to press through and focus more on what needs to get done than what I'm feeling? Absolutely. That's called discipline and commitment. That's not called exhaustion and burnout. 
And you guys have probably heard the phrase, you know, running around there, like our culture, these generations, you know, my generation, the two generations behind me are using exhaustion as a status symbol. Man, I just got a lot going on. I'm just so busy, man. You know, I just, I'm so tired. You know, I'm just, I'm just out here grinding. I'm just out here hustling. I'm just out here. That ain't cute. That's how people end up in the hospital. That's how people end up with cancer diagnosis. And what's interesting, and I have a really good friend and she can vouch for this. The October before I got diagnosed with cancer in February of 2016, I told her how just burnt out I was. And I was like, I just don't think I'm going to make it past February. I was working a job at the time and I was like, I'm just tired. And I was like, it's not a tired where I can sleep it away. I was just like, I just need to take some time off. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Lo and behold, come the beginning, middle of February is when I got diagnosed with cancer and then I ended up never going back to that job. And so there's a difference between rest and sleep and relaxation. And then there's a difference between vacation and retreats. And so I, will, I wanna give you some homework. When, if ever, was the last time you took a retreat where it was just it was just about relaxing whatever that means to you where you didn't feel like when you got home you needed to rest from the vacation that you just took when if ever was the last time what did you do where did you go why was it relaxing to you what did you do intentionally to say i'm doing this so that i can relax it could have even been in your city in your home but I can guarantee you it's not scrolling through social media I can guarantee you it's not binge watching a show on Netflix and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that those are numbing activities not relaxing activities so anyway okay so let me know in the comments if and when was the last time you did things to intentionally relax for you know a significant amount of time and if you haven't or if you've never when are you going to start pick a date put it on a calendar and make it non-negotiable that's your homework i'm pretty sure you didn't know you was going to come to these videos over on this channel and get to work but when i say my channel is about self-care and goal getting i mean it and you can't get goals without actions again catch the message okay so let me know when is the next time you are going to take some time to just retreat and relax and be with your thoughts and be yourself and be in prayer and journal or whatever you need to do to relax where you're not ripping and running, but you're refueling. As of today, I have four days set aside coming up. So today is Thursday, even though I'm not sure what day you're watching this video, I'm filming on a Thursday. I have work to do on Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday are all about rest and relaxation and retreating for me, even though I'm not leaving my home. OK, so four days. And so I'm doing things to prepare for that. If you want to talk about it, like if you want me to share some information about preparing for a retreat, what I did on my retreat and then kind of coming out of a retreat you know, how to get back into the groove of things once you come out. Because sometimes, sometimes we feel, feel guilty for resting. At least I know I struggle with that in the past. And I have to be very intentional about it. And sometimes I feel like, well, let me do 5,000 things before I do this. And let me do 5,000 things when I get off of it, right? And there's a balance. You do want to prepare your life to take a break from it. And you do want to prepare yourself to coming out of that, that, that extended restful state and back into your regular every day, every week routine. And so let me know in the comment section if you want me to uh, talk about that a little bit more. So anyway, that's it for today. Get some rest, relax, not just sleep, and make sure you're taking vac uh, retreats as well as vacations. So all right, family, I will see you in the next video. Peace.